Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about the Ozark Trail outdoor stove. It's two burners, runs off propane, 20,000 BTUs, and they're usually priced around $30. I was able to get this for $15 on sale. Um, for $15, bucks, you could throw it away when, when you're done camping, but I'll give you my first thoughts and impressions on it, and we'll, we'll boil some water on it. So upon opening it, I do realize how thin it is. I like the fact that these legs fold on top to keep everything nice and secure when you're traveling with it. Everything does store nicely underneath. You have this little clip right here for the uh, propane tube. You can clip into there, and then you have the grate underneath. Let's get this set up, and I'll show you guys what it looks like running. Just wanted to show you guys, this did bring the water to a boil in uh, about a minute, two minutes. The knobs seem kind of flimsy. I wish there was a auto like igniter here or something, like I know the Coleman's have that. But for 15 bucks, you really can't complain. Uh, the grate seems a little bit wobbly, but even the grate on my Coleman, I have a dual fuel Coleman grill, and that one seems a bit wobbly as well. Not as wobbly as this, but it, uh, it definitely um, could be a bit more secure. The side pieces are actually a bit hard to get in. You do get a nice flame underneath there from the stove. Uh, it seems pretty well built, all things considering. My Coleman stove that I have is pretty similar. I have a dual fuel one. The grate is extremely wobbly, and there's no like spark to ignite it, so you will need a lighter to light this. It does run off the one pound cylinders, and I'm sure you could get an adapter. I know you can get an adapter to run that off a 20 pound cylinder, which probably lasts you forever. It's a nice stove overall. I like the color. I like how thin it packs down into. I like the fact that you can store everything in it that compact and that the legs come back up and secure it all. And for $15, I don't think this is a bad stove at all. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.